people have asked me what Shaky's Madness is about. So I made up this little video. Honestly, it is the only book I have ever written where people have written to thank me for writing it. Also, my hope is after watching this video today, you will call or text all your friends and family, wake the neighbors and tell your local library to purchase an amazing and awesome audiobook. Because I think to better appreciate Shakespeare, you, you have to hear him. The audiobook also has a couple of stories from my own life in it. To give you an idea of what kind of stories I tell, I would like to share with you something that allegedly happened to me a couple of months ago. This story is not included in the ebook or hardcover book. You are hearing it here first. At my house, my main job besides feeding the dogs and picking up the dog poop is to take out the trash. Come Friday, I also have to wheel three trash bins out to the street and then wheel them back after they've been emptied. We have lived at the same house for over 20 years and the trash truck comes on Friday morning. And I had a perfect record of taking the bins to the curb until a couple of months ago when I slipped up. I forgot to bring the bins out to the street. But that's not such a big deal, is it? No. But the following week, I forgot again. My wife was not a happy camper. She gave me a hard look that almost seemed to say, what the heck is wrong with you? But what really erupted from her mouth went more like this. Robert, this cannot happen again. Next week, you had better bring those bins out to the street by Thursday evening, or you will really be in trouble. Then she stomped off. Fast forward to the following Thursday evening, and there I was, wheeling the trash bins to the street, when I caught sight of my next-door neighbor. He was doing the same thing. He laughed as he looked at me and said, Dang, dude, you sure have a lot of trash. I agreed. Yep, but what about you? He said, Nah. See, we've been on vacation for the past two weeks, so we have nothing. And that's when it dawned on me. Noticing his trash cans parked out on the curb had probably reminded me to bring out our trash cans. And when it comes to the authorship of William Shakespeare, most of us owe a similar kind of blind allegiance. Everywhere we look, society has told us that William Shakespeare is the author of the poems, plays, and sonnets. So it's monkey see, monkey do. Why even doubt it? In fact, if you do question it, some folks will say, you must be crazy, Robert. No legitimate scholar questions his authorship. Some will even call you a flat earth believer, a crank, or a conspiracy theorist. And who wants that? But actually, thousands of intelligent people have doubted Shakespeare's authorship. People like Sigmund Freud, Henry James, Charlie Chaplin, and Mark Twain. It's been going on for a long time. So why doubt Shakespeare? That is what my book, Shakey's Madness, is about. I'm going to talk about why people doubt it. Then I'm going to share some online documents I found about the man from Stratford. He may not have grown up in the town of Stratford-upon-Avon. Then I will offer you my own original hypothesis. The real author suffered from a mental disorder that shows up in his poems, plays, and sonnets. But these symptoms do not show up in the life of William of Stratford. What kind of symptoms? Things like fainting, depression, and thoughts of suicide. We have all heard Hamlet say, to be or not to be, that is the question. Hamlet is talking about suicide, right? Interestingly, these symptoms do show up prominently in the life of Edward de Vere, the 17th Earl of Oxford. This is my opinion. What about you? The definition of an opinion is a belief based on that person's facts 
and experiences. So ultimately, it's up to you to get involved. I want you to look at the facts, think for yourself, and even fact check me. Visit the library or Google or Bing or YouTube or wherever you do your research. Do not take my word for it. Now, what is my experience? I graduated from UCLA with a BA in English, and I enjoy the works attributed to Shakespeare. In fact, so much, I rewrote one of his sonnets. It was my college instructor's favorite, too. I include this poem in this audiobook, where you will hear poet Arthur Wood read Shakespeare's original version, and then a woman named Demi who reads my sonnet. You will hear them both side by side so you can decide which one you like better. Surprisingly, some people have told me that they have liked my version better. You decide. To be honest, for about 35 years, I did not think that much about Shakespeare because I attended graduate school at the University of Hard Knocks. I work in the highly competitive field of Los Angeles real estate. So I've done it all, listing homes, flipping homes, staging homes, selling homes, vacant land, you name it, everything from mobile homes to million dollar mansions. So what this means to you is that I come from the world of real estate sales where all buyers are liars, agents cannot be trusted, and sellers often do not tell the truth. One thing you do learn after dealing with sharks and very smart people is not to accept something to be true because someone tells you it's true. Therefore, with all that good stuff out of the way, let us have some fun as we get started with our own investigation. I'm using this preface as a blurb on YouTube, so hopefully you'll be interested in reading the book. It is not a free book, but I made the cost as low as possible. But if you cannot afford it or you're not that interested, that's cool too. In any case, I wish you the best. There's a link to the book below in the remarks. And thank you for taking your time to watch this video. Hi hey guys, my name is Robert Boog and we're talking about my new book, it's called Shaky's Madness.